I have already mentioned how gasifiers are used all over the world to produce carbon dioxide for greenhouses. I developed such designs for large enterprises. Now you will see how high the demand for carbon dioxide and gasifiers is all over the world. I came across a recent article by a newly established gasifier company. It focused on making carbon dioxide for greenhouses, not for electricity and hot water, like its competitors. Even many years before the war in Ukraine and difficulties in Europe, Holland, a country with plenty of greenhouses, had a catastrophic shortage of carbon dioxide. The owners of large industrial greenhouses complain about the lack of carbon dioxide. Newly established carbon dioxide plants could not cope with the demand. Carbon dioxide was always in short supply while it was needed, as they say, yesterday. Here is the market niche for a liquid and simple product. And so I came across a recent article of July 4, 2022. It tells about a newly established company that focuses on manufacturing gasifiers with combustion flare producing carbon dioxide for greenhouses. This company has completed pilot tests in one of the greenhouses and now offers its devices to everyone around the world. Let's read the article with facts and figures and watch a presentation video. The article tells about a dramatic shortage of carbon dioxide for greenhouses worldwide in the background of current military events. Meanwhile, carbon dioxide can increase greenhouse yields by almost 50% by accelerating plant growth. How is it possible? The video shows the photosynthesis process under a microscope, plants consume carbon dioxide to break off the carbon from which they build themselves. For one molecule of carbon dioxide, plant leaves need six molecules of water and a lot of light. And they don't need the green spectrum. Plants are green because they reflect it, and we can only see what is reflected. Another interesting fact. Look at how a tiger is seen by the animals he eats. It turns out to be green. At the same time, those animals he doesn't eat see him as we do orange. How does he know how to color himself so that those he eats see him camouflaged? How does he know how the eyes of these animals function? But let's move on. The director of the largest 12-hectare greenhouse farm in New Zealand said that their production had dropped by 20% due to a lack of carbon dioxide for its greenhouses. And he was not the only one in the country who had problems. The production of carbonated beverages and chicken meat had dropped drastically. The farm owner needs to get 30 tons of carbon dioxide somewhere weekly. I've already said that a wood-fired gasifier and generates electricity consumes about 1 kilogram of wood for 1 kilowatt of energy produced. Byproducts are about 2.5 kilowatts of heat and about 1.4, according to other sources, 1.8 kilograms of carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide production is down because of the oil shortage. Here we will not talk about the world energy wars and the latest redistribution of resources in the world. Anyway, the oil is gone, the refinery at Marsden Point has closed, and now the greenhouse farm owner has turned his eyes to wood-fired gasifiers. I also learned about a new gasifier company that sees the Netherlands as its market. Its total area of greenhouses is 10 to 15,000 hectares, while in New Zealand it is 500 to 700 hectares. It is simple to estimate the market capacity. If you need 30 tons of carbon dioxide per week for 12 hectares, you can calculate the weekly and daily consumption of carbon dioxide per hectare. I appeal to those who would like to start this business in Europe. I have been making industrial gasifiers for over 10 years and have made over 500 videos during this time. You can see my work at jengazi.net. Production of such gasifiers can be started right now. I will attach the link to the article in the description below the video. There, a development manager of the new gasifier making company says that there is a very acute shortage of CO2 in Europe due to cuts in the purchase of Russian gas. The combustion products of natural gas are carbon dioxide and water. The combustion products of generator gas from wood are the same. You cannot get carbon dioxide by just burning wood in a fire, there will be smoke, which is harmful. On the other hand, gas burns cleanly. The air we breathe has about 420 carbon dioxide parts per million, or ppm. In a greenhouse, the concentration is twice as high, between 800 and 900 ppm. As you can see from the company video, greenhouses need heat mostly at night, when the sun doesn't warm, and CO2 is needed during the day because plants absorb it only under the rays of the sun or lamps. To avoid supplying CO2 at night when it would not be absorbed by the plants because of the lack of light, it was stored until morning by passing the gases from the burner through lime. It absorbs CO2. 
In the morning, when the light appears, the carbon dioxide from the lime is released into the greenhouse. Europe is waiting for carbon dioxide and gasifiers, and my WhatsApp is always online for partners who want to produce them.